All right, so I assembled a list of 10 new mistakes that I see beginner programmers make all the time. So we're gonna jump right into the list and I'm gonna give you some things that you can remedy to fix what you're doing. So tip number one or mistake number one is putting everything into a single file and it becomes giant. So this is something that I actually recently did when I was learning Flutter. This past week I was doing that and I put everything into a single widget. It's an easy mistake to do because it's kind of nice at the start of something to put everything in just a single file or a single function, but it does not scale well at all and it doesn't work as your project grows. So if you see that all over the place, giant files, it's a good idea to start splitting things up into smaller sections. Now, of course, this is not the, uh, there are some exceptions where you may want to have a larger function somewhere, but in general, you don't want to have just large files everywhere. All right, so number two problem is manually formatting code. So I see people just going around and tabbing left and right, trying to get things lined up, and it's a total waste of time. You should be using the auto formatter built into your IDE and just avoid the whole time consuming process of making sure you have four spaces in Python or whatever programming language you're using. Mistake number three is logging too much output. This is specifically usually when you're debugging and I see someone trying to find the bug in their code and they just put in like a hundred print statements. And then when they run their code, they just get this massive log statement that they're now sifting through the logs trying to figure out what happened. Instead, what you want to be doing is put precise print statements in specific places that are meaningful. When the value of this variable matters to the output and such like that, where you're being specific about a small number of print statements compared to just putting a hundred everywhere. All right, mistake number four is not reading error messages. So a lot of times the error or what you need to do is in the error message, but you don't read the error message at all. I see this all the time. I even do it sometimes where I get an error and I before I even read the error message, I'm going either back to my code or just copying and pasting the error into Google instead of actually just reading the error first and being like, oh yeah, I know how to fix that. I can just do what the error message says to fix it. So this is an easy one where it's just like a gut reflex, up saw an error, I'm gonna go change my code. Wait a second, read the error message. It usually has something what you should be doing. All right, number five is copy and pasting code that you have no idea how it works. This is something that gets really bad if you keep doing this in multiple places. Because what I notice is you just have a little bit of baggage every time you copy paste code. There might be chunks of it that you don't understand and aren't needed when you use that code in other places and now you just have unused code that's running for really no reason and it's just cluttering everything. So make sure you understand the code before you're copy and pasting it. And if you're gonna take a piece of code and put it in another place, feel free to clean out some of the parts that you don't need before doing that. All right, tip number six is not using, or mistake number six is not using the right data structure. So I commonly see this really not, with people just not using dictionaries or hash maps. That's the most common one I see is where instead of using a map, they are using uh, lists. And so they're looping over two lists, which is not very efficient. Uh, and it's just, it's slow. You should be using a better data structure to be doing that operation. And so if you don't know what dictionaries or hash maps or how they work, highly recommend learning them because a lot of times the answer is to use them. Especially if you're, the common case that I see is you loop through a list and you wanna see if an item is in the list and so you loop through the list and you just have nested loops and it gets really slow. Instead of doing that, put everything into a map and then look it up in O of one time. It's way better to do that. So in general, look for the right data structure. If it's awkward with what you're doing, you probably can find something that is better format for your data. All right, mistake number seven is using multiple if statements instead of doing if else statements. So if you just have if after if after if in each if statement, um, only one of them should really be true, then you should be putting them in if else's and making sure it just flows like that. It's easier to read as other people read your code and also it doesn't make sense to do multiple condition checks if, if the first one is true, the second one you know is going to be false and so on. All right, mistake number eight is doing too much pre-processing. Basically what happens is at the top of a function or a file or something, you basically just compute all your variables and then you have if statements that maybe you'd be conditionally running stuff. And because you did all the processing up front, some of the variables may not be used and you're computing stuff you really don't need. So look at how you're doing things, look at your flow of logic. And if you're not using a variable until 
a low part of an if statement, don't compute it at the very top of the file. Wait to a further down point. Basically, be lazy uh, about generating the data or computing values. Only compute it when you need it. Now, of course, there are some exceptions to that, but in general, you don't want to just compute everything at the beginning. The next one is large unorganized commits. I sometimes do this myself, and it is quite bad. So it's, it's something that lazy programmers and new programmers do where basically you're fitting way too much stuff that is not related to each other into a single commit. You're waiting too long to commit things and then you have part A of your code being committed with part B of your code and they have nothing to do with each other. Um, you should be splitting these things up into two commits or in smaller commits. So make sure you do small commits that are atomic, just what you changed. Uh, and it gives you better error or commit messages that are nice and short too. This is specifically important when you need to reset or go back and change a commit or uh, you don't need the commit anymore. It's very easy to just get rid of the last commit when it's small. It's harder to go back and just get rid of half of the commit um, because you committed two things that are not related to each other and you only need half of it or something like that. All right, the last mistake that I see is putting secrets or artifacts into Git or on GitHub, pushing it up to GitHub. Um, this can be anything that you really don't need in Git stored there. Um, the most common thing I see in JavaScript is putting node modules on GitHub or in your Git, and then also putting like API keys in there. So none of those things that you want the, the way to remedy this is you should be using environment variables. Go Google those if you don't know what they are. Uh, you should be using those for all your API keys and all your secrets. Um, and then also for, say, node modules, you should be creating a docket ignore and make sure you have all the things that you don't care to version out of Git. Uh, so those are two important things. All right, so those are the 10 things that you should avoid as a programmer. Ask yourself if you're doing any of these things. I commonly find myself doing some of these things and you just wanna make sure to go back and fix some of them as you do them.